Uh, hi, I'm Ben. And I'm Nick. And we are Death Cab for Cutie, and this is Enemy.com. It seems like the model for every streaming service that exists at this point is based upon uh, building a monopoly. Right. And it's and you know every streaming service that exists is kind of you know saying, well, look, once everybody starts using our service, you know, then you know, and people are all paying to use our service, that's when artists and labels will start to see. Real money. Real money. Yeah. You know, real yeah. money. Yeah. Um, but that's just not how it's going to happen. I think that everybody's <laughs> going to continue to use the service they're already using for a number of reasons. I mean, if, you, if somebody uses Spotify, you know, <clears throat> they've got all their playlists in there. They've got all their... They're not just going to... And they're in, it's the same price as Apple. Title is the same price mm-hmm. as Spotify. They're all the same. They, they all do... You know, their platforms differ... You know, and the you know the way they're laid out on your screen is different. But in essence, I don't see much of a difference between any of them at this point. So, and and but every single every one is kind of set up to say like, well, when everybody's using our service, hmm. you know, when everybody leaves Spotify to go to Apple, or when everybody leaves Tidal to go to, do you see what I'm saying? There's and then then you know, everything will even out and be the way it's supposed to be. And I just don't think that that's mm-hmm. the world that we're going to find ourselves living. And I feel like. There will continue to be multiple streaming services that people have kind of become entrenched with because that's just the, the format that they know. Yeah. And I, I, I don't, th- it's just, I mean, maybe I'm cynical about this, but I don't quite think that one streaming service is going to take, is going to put the other ones out of business, which is kind of the way I think that when Apple launches their new service, their idea is to put everybody else out of business and be the only streaming service. It's the same way that Spotify wants to be the only streaming service. And right. Tidal wants to be the only streaming service. So, you know, I mean, I, don't, I think that my earlier comments on the matter were maybe a little bit harsh. Um, but, you know, I, you know, I think that, um, you know, this is just, this is the world we live in now, and I'm certainly not going to, you know, scream from, you know, like a Luddite about how people should... You know, back yeah. in my day, we bought records and we liked it. You know, that's just not the world we live in anymore. I use the streaming services; we all use them. Yeah. And uh, you know, I think you know one just needs to find whatever works best for them as a consumer, and and um, and 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 you know, that's just, the just way it's keep loving be. music yeah, if you can. Just keep listening to music. And that's you know? the hard part about having an opinion right now is I feel like a lot of the the actual music makers have been shut out from the discussions yes. on a yes. fundamental level of how they've even been conceived and built. So it seems this like this abstract thing. Like There yeah. are labels and venture capitalists that are all sitting around tables negotiating rates and values so they can all become millionaires, and they're all, they're all very happy, and they've got these great services. And yeah. then they get to have these big announcements and talk about this new service that's going to make news, revolutionize the music industry. But... I, I have yet to find any personal stake in those or even been invited to sit at a table. Not like they would even invite a, a bass player from a band. You know what I mean? The, but, but you're the exact kind of person they should be inviting it, to those meetings. It's, I, they shouldn't be talking to all of the music makers and people, like songwriters who own their own publishing, publishing people. And uh, I think, you know, Apple seems to have a, a, a right now a real um, confidence in their platform because I think that they've been able to make some deals behind closed doors with people that will ensure that their content might be a little bit more fleshed out than other services or what but again how that boils down to people who listen to music is they'll i just hope that like anything people get a chance to choose and they get a chance to find the music that they love and that they're that that they can form a meaningful connection to it and how that gets how that ever trickles down to bands and consumers is it, it there's a real big disconnect in some of that it it gets we kind of get told more than we get asked and i think that's it's it's odd for me to um so i i end up just feeling kind of i don't get enthusiastic or excited it doesn't feel revolutionary to me it, it just sort of feels i don't know it's weird well but, yeah i mean it's you know i think that a lot you know a lot of these you know, a lot of these platforms are kind of, you know, they, they want to make the claim of being artist friendly, but in actuality, it's, you know, you know, I don't know, I don't know an act, I don't, I don't know any kind of small struggling acts that have been approached by Spotify or Apple or Tidal about how they could make their platform better for artists who are not billionaires, who are not millionaires, mm-hmm. you know, who haven't already made their money 
you know, so because for me, it's, it's it has lots of. I mean, I think that what's going to allow bands to um, and artists to kind of <clears throat> excuse me survive in this new landscape is 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 um, is you know a lot of is if these kind of companies actually go out to younger, smaller acts, people that are kind of struggling to pay the rent, and ask like, how can we make this more equitable? Mm -hmm. um, because now, you know, if I stream. If I'm streaming stealing sheep on any service, you know the money's not going to stealing sheep. It's not. It's going to Rihanna. It's going to <laughs> Madonna. It's not. It's going to Taylor Swift. Probably not Taylor Swift. Probably not. But you know, yeah. Yeah. it's going to the larger acts that are that the the that the most all the, the most amount of people on those services are streaming. And I don't want to give my money to Rihanna. I like Rihanna just fine, but I'd rather give my money directly to stealing sheep. If I'm going to be streaming their music, I want the money to go to them. I want my ten dollars a month to go directly to them. If that's all I'm listening to, no. but that's not how it works, and that's unfortunate. I feel. No. 